meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, we're still dealing with those cold winter-like temperatures across the entire state. And again, finally seeing the entire state play again. You know, El Paso had been kind of the holdout the last couple of days, hanging on to those 50s and 60s. Now everyone into the 30s and 40s across the area with some upper 20s even possible. And 29 degrees in Wichita Falls, 30 degrees in Waco. Again, this is where we've seen that pocket of that freezing rain across the majority of northern Texas. And again, we see that freezing rain as it's caused a nightmare for many travelers trying to get at, around and about the state. Um, best times to kind of just hunker down, stay where you're at, and let this whole system kind of push through. And that's what we're kind of doing as we go in towards the overnight hours. Again, this is the getting into the last little bit of it, that last bit of moisture moving its way in towards Texas under that cold air. And then uh, again, we'll start to turn the turn the corner on this system kind of get this pattern out of here as we go in towards the weekend still looking at some freezing rain kind of moving across the Concho Valley again did see a kind of a heavier pocket move through the Concho Valley in towards uh, Paint Rock and up towards Coleman that's pushed off towards the northeast but again we've still seen these very isolated pockets kind of continuing to move from the southwest and across the Concho Valley in fact that's kind of what we're seeing right now if we take a look at the currents radar again still seeing some of that moisture moving in towards western Crock County that's expected to move in towards our area some just to the southwest of El Dorado that could be moving in towards town in towards Eden as well just to the north of Brady and again a little bit of moisture just to the north of Mertzen and towards the west of here in San Angelo so again we're still seeing some of those pockets of freezing rain that's going to continue through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning could still see those slick conditions considering the temperature is expected to be below freezing that's why we do have those ice those ice storm warnings still in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Then we'll finally let the see them expire as we see temperatures get up into the 40s. Next 12 hours, again, for the most part, hanging out into the low 30s and upper 20s. Not a lot of change through the overnight hours. Again, that's where we start to see that 6 a.m. where we see the freezing warning kind of get lifted, the ice storm warning, rather. Uh, that's where we actually start to see those temperatures begin to increase. So it could be getting into those uh, 30s above freezing or in continue that warming trend as we go in towards tomorrow as well. Looking at the past 24 hours, no major changes with our temperatures. Again, our overnight lows, well, 27 degrees. That's where we started to see. We've actually seen temperatures increasing over the past couple of hours and the warmest temperature in the past 24 hours. Again, well, that's right now at 31 degrees. We've seen kind of a little bit of an uptick in the temperatures by just about a degree or two. Winds right now fairly light though at five miles per hour, so not adding a whole lot to those wind chill values. Again, we've been seeing those below freezing temperatures for the past uh, several days now. 30s for the majority of the Concho Valley. Again, a couple of 20s out towards Eden and Brady uh, into the upper 20s. But again, 30 in Mason, 30 in Mertzen as well. Big Lake also at 30 degrees, 31 in Ballinger and Coleman. So hovering just below that freezing mark for tonight. And as we go through the overnight hours, that's about where we're going to stay. Possibility of any of that moisture has fallen could refreeze. Again, we have seen increase in that rain totals across the area. And as a result, we've seen a couple of those puddles. So we could see those refreeze as well as some of that's melting off of the roofs, kind of getting back onto the sidewalks. So you have a possibility of seeing some of that water just kind of transfer from ceilings and roofs and trees down onto the ground and then refreezing through the overnight hours. Again, in addition to still seeing about a 70% chance of that freezing rain through the overnight hours. As we go into tomorrow morning, again, still very isolated, but we'll see those rain chances begin to diminish. Again, 40% chance throughout the morning time frame. In the early morning hours, as you get past sunrise, though, we'll start to see conditions begin to break up. At least as far as the cooling conditions, or freezing temperatures at least, we'll see temperatures warm up into the low 40s. 42 for your afternoon high, mostly cloudy skies, and those cl clouds will continue to break up as you go in towards the evening time frame. Over the next couple of hours, again, we'll still see those pockets of freezing rain pass through the Concho Valley from the southwest to the northeast uh, through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. And again, right around sunrise, that's when we start to start, finally start to see that transition to more of an all rain event. Could be seeing some very isolated rain showers towards lunchtime, but we really, really start to see the big improvements in the afternoon and evening time frame. That's when we, that mo moisture moves off towards the east. We'll be looking at fairly clear skies going into the majority of Friday, and that's going to carry in towards your weekend as well. So again, finally seeing a future cast, not a whole lot of activity on it. And certainly welcome news for those who 
have not really enjoyed the winter weather the past couple of days. Again, still could pick up a little bit more icing through the next couple of hours going into tomorrow morning. But again, as we get in towards Friday, we'll be looking at fairly quiet conditions as this system pushes off towards the east. High pressure rebuilds over the area, and with it, we'll see a return to some warmer temperatures. Those winds turning out of the southwest for the weekend, that's going to pick up. So we could start to see some of those breezy conditions in addition to seeing those warmer temperatures. So we'll start up for warmer temperatures as we get into tomorrow afternoon. The we'll return to the 40s, 50s as we close out the week. Looking at Friday, 52. We'll continue that warming trend again as breezy conditions pick up. You'll see those winds pick up as well as those warmer temperatures as we return to the 60s and 70s for the majority of next week.